Hello and welcome to Samples for Schools Veal Brain Dissection. In this video we're going to be looking at the veal brain structure and this is useful for both science students and psychology students because we can identify the main parts and talk about their function. So to begin with, the overall structure of the brain we talk about as being the cerebrum and is made of two hemispheres, the cerebral hemispheres. You can think of it as being like two fists joined together. So in this analogy, the left side of the brain, the left hemisphere, controls the right side of your body. The right side of the brain, the right hemisphere, controls the left side of your body. The left hemisphere is also responsible for logic and the right hemisphere for all things creative. Some people are a little bit left or right hemisphere dominant, but there's communication between both hemispheres, between the corpus callosum. When you receive your sample, you'll be able to see the cerebral cortex covering the whole surface of the brain. You'll be able to identify both hemispheres of the brain. You'll be able to notice the central portion running down the middle, which we call the longitudinal fissure. This is the gap between the two hemispheres. Going across this way, we refer to this as the central sulcus. Each of these little folds and ridges increases surface area in the brain, so you can fit a lot of matter into a very small area. The raised bumps of the brain we refer to as the gyri. The little dips and folds are the sulci. So in your sample, you'll be able to identify the left and right hemispheres. You'll be able to see the hind region of the brain, which we refer to as the cerebellum, and a portion of brain stem attached. When we look at each region of the brain, going from front to back, at the front region of the head, we have what's called the frontal lobe. And this is responsible for thinking, planning, decision making. Moving back across the brain, we have our parietal lobe, our occipital lobe, and at the back, this cerebellum. Sometimes this is referred to as hindbrain. Our parietal lobe in this region is all about body perception. It's knowing where our body parts at different times during our movement. Close behind it is the occipital lobe, and this is important in integrating all our visual stimuli. The cerebellum at the back is for our fine motor skills, balance and posture, and being able to move our body parts in a very intricate and controlled manner. Our brainstem, however, is slightly different. Think of it as your autopilot. This is responsible for all things that you're not thinking about, breathing, swallowing, heart rate. You'll be able to dissect your sample by separating the left and right hemisphere. To do this, you just need to cut down this longitudinal fissure. When we separate these two hemispheres, you can see that there's different colours of tissue inside. This is what we refer to as being grey matter or white matter. If you'd like to know more about veal brain dissection, then please see our website for lesson plans and risk assessments. Thank you for watching.